Hi everyone, my name is Nancy and I love, love Overdrive. I've shared it with so many different friends, but often it's in a moment where I don't have access to Wi-Fi or I just don't have time to explain how to use it. So I just created a quick video tutorial so you can love, love, love it just like me. First go to Overdrive.com. I've already signed up, which if you're a new user you would do, so I'm just going to show you what it's like to sign in. Overdrive has really changed my life. I love to read, but don't often get time. And I have found the joy of audiobooks. Books that I own physically that I haven't had a chance to read, I've gotten to go through um, in an audio version and actually complete and enjoy. So I'm signed in, and I know that because it says Wheeler Family up here. So now it's time for me to um, find a library. So you go to the town that you live in where you have a library card and you select that library and once you've selected your library click into the library function. So South Orange Public Library subscribes to eLibrary New Jersey and that's where I'm headed. And you'll see that I'm now brought to a new window, the eLibrary New Jersey window, and I have to sign in here as well. E-Library New Jersey is going to connect me with my South Orange Public Library card number and I'm authenticated. So one of the steps that you can't see because I'm already a member is that you have to put in your library card in E-Library New Jersey. Once you put that number in, get the password from your local library to figure out exactly what your initial password is. Typically, it is the last four digits of your library card number, but that works for us here in a couple of um, New Jersey libraries. I'm not certain if it's going to work where you are. Now we're in eLibrary New Jersey, and I want to start by going to my account. In my account, I've got a few things. My bookshelf, which shows that I've already got this book by James Patterson, and I will see here that when you see the headphones that it's an audiobook. You can also go to Holds. If there's a book that you are interested in listening to or reading, you can place a hold on it. Let's say you're not ready to listen to or read a book. You can add things to your wish list just like you would any wish list so that when you are looking for a title, you can start by going to titles you've previously selected. And in Settings, you can actually decide here your lending periods. For ebooks, you can do 7, 14, or 21 days, and you can do the same for an audiobook. You can also set maturity levels to decide what kind of books you want. For example, if you were setting it for a child and you didn't want them to be able to get mature adult titles or books, you could clearly just make the changes here. And cover images. If you want to choose the mature adult covers, um, in the electronic library system there are a number of romantic books and they have pretty hot romantic covers so you may want to choose not to have those and you have other things that you can select like high contrast and dyslexic font I'm gonna now go to my menu let's get some books you can start by going to featured collections these are the things that eLibrary New Jersey wants you to see um, ebook fiction, ebook nonfiction, children and teen, audiobook fiction, and audiobook nonfiction. I'm going to first go into audiobook fiction. I'm a huge fan of audiobooks, and that's what I read most often, listen to most often. So the first thing you'll see is they've already cited, sorted by added to cite. I don't like to sort like that, it just means that those are the new books they've gotten. I actually like to start with most popular. And this is showing us the most popular books on the site right now. And no surprise, the new book by Harper Lee is one of the most popular. Um, also, her original book, To Kill a Mockingbird, is also in the top four. But you can see that the headphones right now are actually grayed out. That means there are no copies of that audiobook for me to download at this moment. But I still can make um, my interest in the book known by simply clicking onto it. 
sorry, by simply clicking onto it and placing a hold. And I enter my email address here, and then they will send me an email when it becomes available. Or if I check this box, I can automatically borrow it as soon as it becomes available. But I'd like to show you the downloading process. So now I'm going to come to the left hand side of the page and pick all of the titles, but only those that are available to download right now. And as you saw in my bookshelf, I had already downloaded Lucky, Unlucky 13 by James Patterson. I'm going to go and get another book just so you can see the process, and this book is called Inferno by Dan Brown. I select Borrow, and I go straight to my bookshelf. On my bookshelf, I have one of two choices. If you would like to take your book, your audiobook, with you in a portable format like a telephone, a cell phone, or a... Um, a traveling device like an iPad, you would select download the MP3 audiobook. That would allow you to move all of the audio files directly to your device. Right now I'm on a PC and so I don't need to make it mobile. I don't have to add it to my hard drive and I can select listen in my browser, which I'm going to do. It takes me directly to the book. Here's the book. I press play and we're off Random at the races. Audio presents Inferno by Dan Brown. Read for you by Paul Michael. Pretty sweet. 